What's up, everybody? Here to bring you another review. This time is of the SH Figure Arts Batman, the Dark Knight version, the Christopher Nolan movie stuff. Let's get started. Let's get it popping. First and foremost, I want to start by saying uh, the, the figure is actually beautifully accurate in terms of looks. Um, it's one of those things where more and more as we go on, SH Figure Arts and Bandai are going out of their way to create accuracy uh, with molding, without sacrificing articulation, and just giving you product that looks great. Um, I know some may agree, some may disagree, and that's totally fine because it's opinion. But in my opinion, I think that this absolutely looks really great, especially like Christian Bale. Even though it doesn't have a Christian Bale head, it just looks great for it. Uh, they just rendered the suit beautifully, with few exceptions to a few things. But overall, I think they've pretty much nailed it. But um, yeah, let's get started on uh, what this figure is actually about. Now... This figure actually looks a bit bulkier, more sturdier than uh, previous SH figure arts, especially dealing with Batman. And I think they've done a great job of making him look, look more American. It's not just a Japanese version or rendition. They, they've captured the Christian Bale look. Now, in terms of articulation, you have bicep swivel. It's uh, not double jointed, but it goes up pretty far. It rotates all the way around. And the only issue you want to worry about with the arms is actually the shoulder pads. Although they click in very well, what happens is that if you raise it too far you'll pop the ball joint out, just as, she, as you've seen that I've done here. To fix that, you just pop the ball joint in, and it matches the joint's alignment, Ooh, which I did not do very well. But you're going to wait, because you won't hear it actually snap it in. Also, the joint actually folds out as well, so you can actually butterfly joint it. That they, It's really nice. It folds over really well, and it does a great job of uh, hiding even the joint points. Now, don't worry about the cape. I'm going to get into that in a second. Now, as far as ab crunch goes, it doesn't go pretty far down. It goes pretty far backwards, but it doesn't go down. You do have nice upper torso twist, which goes left and right. And then you actually have the hands. Now the hands look really done, well done. The only issue that I'm having right now with the hands is that because the hands are too close to the ball joints, they don't rotate very well. But that could be something as the more I use it, the more better it gets. And it could just be a little stiff in there. So the more wear and tear I play on it, the probably the easier it will get. Let me remove the grapple gun because I want to get around to that in a second. As far as legs go, it's a mix between old and new. So what happens is that you're going to pull down a little and you get to get the maximum amount of ab crunch. I mean, sorry, not ab crunch, but leg articulation that folds out. So you get a mix of old and new. Batman can still do crouching poses pretty well with no issue. The only problem is you can't do a three-pointer. So as you can see... He can get down, but he can't get down. So he folds pretty well. The only issue that I'm having us, as far as the lower torso goes, is that there's a slight gap right here. I don't think it's something that uh, would really bother me because you can't really see it in camera. It's only something you can really see in person. But overall, it just looks great. It's not something I worry about. As far as uh, ankle pivot, rotates in, rotates out, toe pivot. You can rotate 360 degrees. Not something you really need to stress. Overall, the figure is really great, and I enjoy it. Um, they're just minor gripes. Like I said, the one with the utility gap around the belt. There is the, the hand peg issue. But most of the problems that I'm seeing with most people is that they do not like the cape. Now, the issue is this is one of Bandai's first ventures into cloth capes, and I hope they continue to do it. I hope it's not something that they stop here because of the, you know, the negative feedback. The cloth cape is very nice. It doesn't hinder the figure, but also it doesn't look great in certain ways because what happens is They've definitely added the wire for you to be able to use. The problem with the wire is that it's obviously too stiff because you can't fold it. It also kind of just goes right back into its original position. So folding it over is probably your best bet to look backwards. So folding it backwards is probably your best bet. Now, when you do poses with the arm up, it actually holds pretty well. What I've done is I've taken the hand. Oop, there goes that joint. I've gone, popped it too far. So let me just pop that back in for a second. Find the joint, pop it in, make sure it's lined. The thing that I've done, back to what I was saying, is I usually fold it into the hand for photos that I'm doing, so that way the cape holds. And as you can see, there's that fold here. It looks really nice, but the issue is that uh, when you're taking photos, it kind of gets a little bothersome. But like I said, if you just pop it out of his hand, it kind of just recreates back to its original position. Wow, the shoulder pad might be the biggest issue here, at least for me. But in terms of articulation and overall look, I am absolutely loving it. Now, as far as accessory goes, uh, it actually comes with enough to make me go, wow. Um, it comes with the sticky bomb gun. 
I'm not a big fan of the guns, but I don't think that Batman should have guns. But the Sticky Bomb gun is actually recreated really well. It's really nice. You get the grapple gun. No grapple gun accessories, though, so you don't get the, the shot version of it. So you don't get the one where it shoots out the grapples. You're not going to get that. We all know that Batman usually has batarangs. He actually comes with two this time, and he actually has hands to hold the batarangs. The batarang is actually not the same on both sides, so it's uh, indented on this side, and then it's flat surface on the other. You get two closed fists, which are initially what he comes with out of the package. I swapped it for the open hands. You get the hands for holding the grapple gun. You get two of each. You get hands for holding batarangs and... and uh, the sticky bomb gun. Sorry about that. This one should be the sticky bomb gun. This one will be for the opposite end of the sticky bomb gun, which is the forward grip. And this one should be the batarang. So you get two of each hands across the board. Also, with Batman, you also get an alternative head, which is more like an open mouth here. Or a grin, you should say, with his mouth open. So compared to his regular head, which looks very Christian Baelish. So you get two alternative heads, you get tons of hands, and you actually get a nice amount of accessories, which is really nice. Now, height in terms of Batman and what he is uh, compared to other figures, let's do that real fast. This is him next to a Marvel Legend, which as you can see, he is very close to six inches. He's not exactly six inches, but he's close enough that he would fit in scale with Marvel Legends. He'll fit in with Mafex. He'll fit in with just about other lines really well. But if you want to see what he looks like compared to a Mezco, let's do it. This is him next to Punisher. As you can see... It's a very nice, there's no real gap in between it. So it's actually really nice. This is him next to an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider. As you can see, he's actually much taller. And this is him next to his Mafex counterpart from Batman v Superman, the Ben Affleck Batman. And as you can see, it's not a terrible size difference. It's just a slight one. So it's something that, you know, you either you're going to like or you're not going to like. But I think he fits in well with all scales, which is pretty good. That sounds really something that uh, I pretty much strive for, scale and not scale. I want it to be able to look good enough to work with everything, and it pretty much does. In the meantime, uh, I hope you enjoyed the photos at the end. I hope you're drinking your water. Most of all, I hope that you are enjoying the content that you're watching, not just from me, but from everyone else. I hope you're doing good out in the world. I hope the good is coming back to you. Uh, do good. Be good. Peace out. Later, guys.